Unit 2, Section D, Reciprocity and the Wheels of Synchrony. Rotational or turning movements of the pelvis in relation to those of the shoulders are central to balanced and free walking. When the hip of one side moves forward, its shoulder is supposed to move backward. When the hip of one side moves backward, its shoulder is supposed to move forward. It's twisting and untwisting that goes through the trunk with each step. When the sacrum is twisted, you feel a grip in the muscles of the spine at the waist. The movements of this section free the twisting movements and help untwist the sacrum. It's important in this section to assess your sacral position before each practice session. To do these movements in the wrong direction may lead to added discomfort. If you do the movements in the wrong direction, the remedy is to do them in the correct direction. Even if you do them in the wrong direction, discomfort will fade in a couple of hours and you will have gotten some benefit. Before doing this section, do the seated assessment procedure shown in the video tutorial. Visually observe as well as feel which leg is easier to move forward or backward. To go only by feel may give you inaccurate information, so assess visually as well as by feel. Generally, whichever side of the sacrum is deeper, jammed forward, that leg and hip are more difficult to move forward. The reciprocity exercise, coordinated twisting movements for the pelvis and shoulders. The expected result of this exercise is to relieve the grip feeling of muscles at the waist in back. It straightens the SI joints and helps square the pelvis, untwists the trunk, and reveals where you're still stuck. In this exercise, pay full attention to the sensations of movement. After doing the movement a few times, you may sense enough to notice where in the movement it gets sticky. If or when you locate such a sticky position or more painful place, move to the center of the stickiness or discomfort and slowly relax completely. Begin the movement anew from that position and each time Look for the first sticky or more painful place you encounter and relax in that position. In this exercise, you start lying on the deeper sacrum side, which is the more difficult side to move the hip forward. You move your hip in the easier direction as determined by the sitting functional assessment that you've done. The essence of this move is to lead the movements with head movements. You lead by lifting the head as you're doing the lift action, and you lead by lowering your head as you do the leg lowering action. Also, as you lower both head and leg, sense what ribs and what location on your ribs you're lying upon and sink straight down onto those ribs. A fine point on the lifting actions of your top side leg and top side arm, by pressing down with the side of the underside leg and with the underside arm helps to lift the opposite side leg or arm. You'll find it very helpful in getting better results. The wheels of synchrony. The wheels of synchrony distribute or spread out the effects of the reciprocity movement, making movement rounder and smoother. It improves your comfort after doing the reciprocity movements, smooths and makes walking easier, 
and produces a better linkage between your shoulders and pelvis and their movements. In the wheels of synchrony, the essence of this movement is the sensation you get when your shoulder is pulled toward your waist and moving front to back or back to front. It's a kind of grinding movement. Make the movements as round as you can. And when you're able to practice without the guided instruction, experiment with slowing the movement down. Practice controlling it from the underside and then from the underside and the top side at the same time. 